Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes Drip. Drip or drown, baby. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we have a bit of an award ceremony. It is the end of 2021. This is the last video of 2021. It is also the 50th episode of the Mark Boudelier Show. So if you're tuning in, thank you. Thank you for 50 beautiful episodes and thank you for an excellent 2021 we i believe launched the channel in 2021 i'm pretty pretty certain so uh you know we've come a long way and um i'm looking forward to 2022 i think there's going to be a lot of really great things in store both for the youtube channel and just for you know people myself uh everybody around me in general you know i just feel feel like 2022 is going to be a strong year for a lot of people and I'm excited to see what's in store, so uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste you guys' time too much. We're going to go ahead and jump into the categories, um, but if you're new here, you came at the right time, thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button and hit the push notification bell so you're with us all 2022, and uh, if you're returning, thank you. You're the reason why this video is being made, you're the reason why we're 50 episodes deep, and I appreciate you. So. Let's break down the categories. Uh, we'll start with the first one. It is gonna be Trend of the Year. So uh, we have four nominees for this one. We have Gorp, so you know, the Arky boys, you know, get in the shower, uh, put your, your hood on and just let it flow for an hour, whatever. We got Workwear, get your, your car fart jacket, your double knees, maybe some artificial paint splatter and some Jordan 1s. We have Y2K, so you know, Go to your local your local thrift store, buy up all the baggy jeans, all of the you know oversized tees. List them all on Depop for uh, you know 30 times the price. And we have Archive, which um, I don't know how this became a trend, but uh, it sort of kind of did. Basically, you're just wearing old designer stuff. Sometimes it's really interesting. Sometimes it's borderline cringe, but uh, it is on here nevertheless. Also, I don't think I mentioned that uh, all of the nominees are exclusively picked by me. The winners for each of these categories is exclusively picked by me. Not only are they picked by me, but they're picked by me on the spot because I have listed the nominees, but I have not picked a winner, really, not even really in my head. So if I forgot stuff, sorry. Let me know in the comments what I forgot. If I picked something that you don't agree with, let me know in the comments. This might be a shit show, but uh, hopefully it's entertaining for you. But anyways, those are our nominees. Let's just pick the winner. The winner for the trend of the year is... Uh, this is cringy to even roll off the tongue. Gorpcore. Gorpcore is the trend of the year. Get that Arky jacket on and uh, go outside, let it rain, you know. Or just stay in your shower, it doesn't matter. Uh, we picked Gorp Gore. That's it, it's hard to deny the impact that it's had, and I think there's good and bad ways to wear all of these trends. But I think ultimately Gorp Gore kind of had 2021 in a stranglehold, and I think we're gonna see kind of some growth with it as well. So that's that's the pick. So next up we have shoe of the year, but um, this is not a specific category. This is more so a category of shoes. Um, so let's go ahead and break into the nominees for these as well. We got sneakers, classic, you know, little trainers, whatever it is, sneakers, going to run, yeah. Uh, we got boots, little fancy man, uh, whether it be a lace-up, whether it be a zip, um, whether it's Gweedy, whatever else. We got loafers, loafers, uh, you know, kick them on, uh, Doc Martin Adrian all day long, baby, it's the, the TikTok, uh, loafer of the year for sure but that's not the category and we have mules so it's basically just a backless loafer backless loafer in a sense uh so yeah that's that but let's go ahead and choose the winner the winner of the shoe of the year is <laughs> mules mules are the winner of the shoe of the year i am partial to mules i'm a big mule guy i got the marty mules got the 
Snow Peak, New Balance mule shoe things. Um, big mule guy. So, uh, mules, good, good job, good job. Um, but we have a we have a, a dilemma here. There were so many sneakers that came out this year that it would be unfair for me to simply leave it at a nomination in a type of shoe of the year. So we have a sneaker of the year category um, with lots of nominees and I am bound to have forgotten at least one good one because I'm going to be honest, I've been a little bit off the sneaker game this year, uh, but here's the nominees. So first up. We have the Amamanir 4s. I know. I know it was 3s. I messed up, okay? I'm sorry. Back to the video. Beautiful, you know, clean little shoe. Perfect, great, whatever. We got the ALD 550s. You can't, you can't go two blocks, uh, you can't go one block down the road in New York without seeing at least five, uh, five NPCs wearing these things. Uh, we got the Solomon XT6. It's, you know, a shoe that I've been rocking with for a minute now, kind of, kind of got, you know, picked up by TikTok. I've been, I've been putting them on for a hot minute now, but uh, now they're, they're really on TikTok, so there's that. We have the Union Jordan 4. That's one of those that, uh, you know, nice shoe. I remember it was pretty hype when it came out, um, whatever. We got the Off-White Jordan 2. Um, great shoe. I actually liked that in terms of Off-White sneakers the Nike ones I think that's actually one of my you know uh, probably one of my favorites that he's put out in a long time so we have the Travis Scott Jordan fragment lows um, that's not the winner not not a fan whatever uh, then we have the New Balance protection pack another solid shoe very great kind of plays on the whole uh, the deconstructed trend kind of plays off that and then we have the Solomon ACS Pro which is the most recent Solomon uh, to have kind of came out, sold out, all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, those are our nominees. And uh, let's go ahead and pick a winner. So, the winner of the sneaker of the year is... Mm, well, this is a tough one. I'm going to give it to the Almanier 4s. I think that uh, while it might not be my favorite one to personally wear myself... I think that credit is due, and I think it's a really great shoe. I think it's very clean. I think it kind of sums up what 2021 was for style, for, both from a sneaker perspective with Jordan 4s being just a really powerful thing. I know! And then just from that simplicity, just the, the, the nice earth tones, I think it's hard to not choose that. But I do think a solid runner-up would be the New Balance Protection Pack or the latest Solomon. But we will move on. So next up, we have the collaboration of the year. And while I feel like there is a lot of shit ones, here's some of the ones that uh, we came away with. So we have Gucci Balenciaga. Great stuff. Superb. I actually kind of like the puffer jacket, but some of the other stuff. Let's not give anything away. Next up, we have the Yeezy Gap. We got the little the Smurf jacket. We got the hoodies, um, all that. Next up, we have the Stussy Our Legacy Workshop collaboration. I believe that's been. I think they've done more than one collaboration at this point. Just kind of an ongoing thing. Yada yada. Next up, we have the Supreme Junior. The Supreme Yeezy collab, uh, lovely stuff. Next up we have the Gucci North Face, which I honestly forgot released this year, but it did. It did indeed. And then we have the Jill Sander Arky, which I've made a full video on. I guess I've also made a full video on the Supreme Junior. Uh, you can go watch those if you want after this. <laughs> uh, anyways, so the collab of the year. I don't even know how to pick a winner for this one, honestly. The collab of the year, the winner for the collab of the year is... Uh, I don't even know how to pick this one. I'm gonna give it to the Stussy Our Legacy Workshop. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna say that... 
I, I think it's just my favorite. This one I'm being, I'm, all of these I'm being biased on, but this one especially, it's just, you know, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of these collabs. I think the Supreme Junior one was actually, there were some good pieces mixed in, uh, but I think Stussy and Our Legacy kind of did something this year that's kind of special. They kind of mixed like a streetwear brand with something a little more uh, put together, and they made some great pieces that are good for, you know, good for hanging out on the streets, going skating, and good for piecing together an actual, like, cohesive going out outfit. So I'm going to give it to them. All right, so meme of the year. Lots of really great ones. Kind of pulled them from all different sources. Um, let's break into the nominees. First up, we have the Balenciaga Fortnite collaboration. Wonderful collab. Great stuff. Classic. Uh, next up, we have... Mr. Alpha himself in his famous line, the color is vintage. Beautiful line, beautiful guy. We love Mr. Alpha on this channel. The next one is showering in your Arcturix jacket. Great meme, super funny. It's even funnier the 37th time. You know, maybe it's not so bad after all. Uh, and we have tote bag warriors um, grab your tote bag throw it on with your your full vintage fit maybe throw on some nike dunks some car double knees got yourself a fit and lastly we have the one guy that got an entire v loan v back piece on his back um it just kind of stuck with me. I just remembered it kind of on the spot, and uh, I think he deserves a spot in this uh, category. So, great stuff. Um, anyways, the winner of Meme of the Year goes to... Balenciaga Fortnite. I, uh, I think Balenciaga Fortnite did something special. They committed to the meme. They made an entire collection and they even got people to buy it. I think it sold out. People people spent hundreds, thousands of dollars on this collaboration. Um, so from, from Demna's perspective, from Balenciaga's perspective, epic meme, epic meme. They really, they got some people. They got some people and it's sick. They could have gotten me too if I uh, had the money to participate. Next up, we got fashion tiktoker of the year men's fashion tiktoker of the year let's break in to the nominees we have julian great pal of mine great pal uh we have nolan nolan another another great pal of mine if you don't uh if you don't sub to his youtube go check it out great lad great lad uh, we have wisdom absolute king puts together some incredible outfits some of the craziest videos i've really seen um he's taken over tiktoks millions of followers and he's built just an incredible career off of it and then lastly we have yours truly so the winner of the fashion tiktoker of the year is come on guys it, it's an easy one it's he has, for his videos to gain that much traction and for him to have, you know, really built, like, this much momentum from it, like, there's really no other option than for it to be Mark Boudelier! Woo! I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you guys for, for voting for me on this one. Uh, this one was voted, actually, was actually voted by the people, um, not just myself saying it, so thank you guys. I, I appreciate it. Um... No, but seriously, uh, lots of lots of great creators on uh, on the old TikTok. Uh, this was just you know, there's there's many others to go check out as well. So shout out to everybody, shout out Nolan, JQ, uh, Julian, Wisdom, um, the whole gang. It's it would only be right for me to tell you to go check out each and every one of them. Uh, shout out Simon. Shout out. Um, can't go on forever but anyways shout out a lot of these young bright gentlemen um and we will continue on but um 
we only have one more category left. So uh, I don't know what we're at in terms of time here. I feel like I've been talking for a while, but um, who's to really say? You have 17 minutes. Oh, okay. I, don't see I thought I was going to be talking for like 30 minutes here. So we're actually doing great on time. So maybe I'll, I'll really take my time on Brand of the Year and make you guys wait for it. Um, let's break into the nominees, shall we? We have a plethora of nominees. Uh, so starting with Arcteryx, we're bringing back Arcteryx or Arcteryx, however you want to say it. It doesn't matter. Um, goes back to the Gorbcore thing, you know, Gortex, uh, showers, um, wearing it in uh, 80 degree weather, no, no rain anywhere. Great, great company though. Love Arcteryx. Um, they've had a killer year in all seriousness. And um, I really appreciate the things that they do. I appreciate the quality and they'll probably continue to expand on that in 2022. So yeah, uh, we have our legacy, a little bit of a sleeper, I guess, in this category as um, they've had a great year. They've really made some momentum, but um, yeah, they've had a great year. It's actually one of my one of my favorite brands in general. I feel like they put out a lot of really great stuff. So um, yeah, they deserve a spot in the race. Um, next up, we have Balenciaga. I think of the high fashion brands, it would only be fair if we put in Balenciaga. They've had a killer year. Ye is, you know, dripped head to toe in some Balenciaga these days, as well as a lot of other big time celebrities. And they've had some, you know, pretty iconic collaborations, whether you think they're good or bad. Um, you know, doing the Simpsons thing, doing the Fortnite thing, doing the Gucci Balenciaga. They've They've made some waves. So, Balenciaga. We have Carfart. I put Carfart in there. You're welcome, guys. Put it in there. Whatever. Get your double knees. Your Detroit jacket. Um, I didn't pick Carhart, okay? <laughs> it's not the winner. Um, so you can stop watching if you were, if you wanted Carfart to win. Because it's not winning. Anyways, next up we have Jacques Mousse. Jacques Mousse. Um, they've picked up a lot of momentum this year as well. Most of these brands have been doing this for a little while, um, but have just picked up more momentum as of late. Um, not even really as of late. They've just they've just had stellar years and you know needed to be on here. But Jacques Mousse is no exception. They've made some really great stuff this year um, and deserved a spot. Um, next up we have Bodhi. Bodhi is an excellent one. They've you know really done this whole upcycling thing uh, to the next level. Make some incredible pieces. Emily Bodhi from Atlanta actually um, sources a bunch of stuff. They have their tailor shops in New York, and um, it's just a really great, just a really great brand all around. If you ever get a chance to go to the store, highly encourage it. Lovely experience. Um, one day I will buy something from Bodhi. Maybe it's 2022. Anyways, uh, we have Stussy. Stussy has had a killer year. Um, they've really taken the skate aesthetic as well as like streetwear and they've kind of elevated it. So there's kind of something for everybody now. Um, and they've, they've done a great job. So Stussy, um, ALD. ALD has done a great job as well. They've really encapsulated the whole explore page fashion thing and have kind of like turned it into like this this bright vibrant brand um i say bright and vibrant not really more more so an earth toned brand it's just a full it's just a full aesthetic a full mood board of a brand and um they do a good job they make great collaborations they make great products they have a great experience overall storefront everything you can hang out for eight hours uh it's a nine to five job, baby. Just sitting outside of the ALD store, sipping espresso, espresso freddos, baby. Um, <laughs> and then we have Bottega, Bottega Veneta. Um, obviously, Daniel Lee is out of there. Uh, so this is like the year for them, I guess. Um, I don't know if they even announced who's taking over yet. I don't think so. Uh, but uh, they've had a killer year. Great stuff. Their stuff is everywhere. They've done great. Um, so yeah, now that we have our nominees, there's a lot of them. It's a hard one. There's there's no wrong answer per se. Besides Carhartt. No, Car Carhartt's great. Carhartt's great. Carhartt, 
sponsor me. Um, anyways, uh, there's no wrong answer here, but um, we're gonna go ahead and announce the winner. My winner. That's what that's what matters. So uh, brace yourselves. The winner for brand of the year is. Bodhi! Woo! Yeah, I like Bodhi. Bodhi's a great brand. That was, uh, you know, probably pretty anticlimactic. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Bodhi. I, I guess you guys could have figured after I gave a 30 second, you know, explanation of Bodhi that I gave everyone else like a 15 second one. But uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Bodhi is our winner. They've had an incredible year. Shout out Emily Bodhi and everyone else that's, you know, goes into their brand um that's it that's all of your winners to give a quick recap i guess we got trend of the year gorp core we got shoe of the year mules we got sneaker of the year i'm a manier fours we have collab of the year stussy our legacy workshop we have meme of the year balenciaga fortnite we have fashion tiktoker of the year yours truly yo did you hear you what about the like the weird like TikTok like men's TikToker award thing. No, what's up? You're like nominated for it. Wait, where? It's like four different people. Wait for what? Men's like fashion TikToker of the year or something like that. On uh, like what like award thing? It's on like, it's on like some YouTube thing I think. Like streamies or some shit. Uh no, I don't remember what it's called, but I what won. I, I, I won. You won? Yeah. Oh, nice. Where is it? We have brand of the year, Bodhi. Great, uh, great list of, of, of things, people there. Um, shout out all of you. We had an incredible 2021 yet again. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, keep following along. 2022 is going to be even better, even greater. If you have video ideas that you want to see done, we'll make it happen. We're about to be going absolutely bonkers out here so uh thank you guys again join the discord have more little chit chats about uh all things fashion and whatever else and um until next year <laughs> bye this is the 50th episode like and subscribe and comment subscribe and comment this is the 50th episode Oh my god It was an award show Yes it was